Hi everyone, I'd like to share with you how I made this abstract render in Blender by using geometry nodes. You can get the project file for a dollar through the link in the description. So let's get started. You're going to need Blender 3.3.0 Alpha for this to work. I'm using an HDRI and I will put the link to the one that I use in the description. First let's set a plane, go to geometry nodes, close this window and click on new. Delete the group input and add a volume cube node. Plug the volume into the geometry and add a volume to mesh node. Add a set shade smooth node. You can leave the resolution at 32, but I recommend that you set it between 100 and 400 for example. I'm going to set it to 100 for now, but I'm going to increase it to 400 later. Add a mix node and duplicate it. Plug the color into the density and plug the second mix node into color 2. Now add a gradient texture. Set it to diagonal and plug it into color 1. Now add a Voronoi texture, set it to distance to edge, and plug that into the factor and color 2. And now as you can see we get something like this. Set the randomness to 0.25 and the scale to 7.5. Now add a color ramp, plug the color into the factor and into color 1. Duplicate the wall and the texture and plug the distance into the factor and bring the black in like this. Now we need a brick texture. Plug that into the scale. Duplicate the wall and the texture and plug it into color 2 here. Set the scale to 5 and the randomness to 1. Now add a random value node and let's plug that into color 1 and the model. Add a wave texture, set the distortion to 25 and set the scale to 0.1. Plug the color into the vector here and now as you can see we've got this crazy effect going on. Add a gradient texture again, just duplicate this one, set it to spherical and plug the color into the randomness of the Warner texture here. Now we need a checker texture, plug it into the vector and now we need another, a mask wave texture, plug that into the vector here. And now in between here we need a white noise. Also let's duplicate this wave texture and plug it in here. Set the scale to 12. Now set it to diagonal here. I recommend that you save now if you haven't already. Now I'm going to go back to the volume cube and set everything to 400. One thing that I forgot to do is to set the distortion to 12 here. And then since I just drag and dropped the node, it plugged the color into the vector, which I don't want, so I'm going to plug it into the scale. So I just noticed one more thing that I overlooked, and that is that the color must not go into the vector here, it must go into the vector here. Now you should have something like this. Let's save again. Go to layout mode and add a light. Point light. Go here and let's set this to 100,000. Also let's make the radius somewhere around here. Let's go to shading and go to rendered view. I'm going to use cycles for this. And I'm going to set the max samples to 1280. 
for the color management. I'm going to change the look to very high contrast. Let's also go to compositing and enable use nodes and also enable denoising data here. Add a denoise node set to accurate and simply plug in these three here. Now go back to shading. Of course, before we create the shader, we need to go. We need to click on new and then go to geometry nodes and set the material. So just go to the material node and select the material. Now go back to shading. Delete the pencil PSDF. And let's just add a glass node. And connect the PSDF to the surface. And I'm going to make it slightly blue. Like this. And that's all we need to do for the shader. Of course, you can use something else, but I'm going to use this. Now let's set up the camera. Press delete on the numpad and go into front view by pressing 1 on the numpad. And let's press 8 on the numpad to move like this and 4 to move like this. Now shift A and add a camera. Press Ctrl Alt 0 and now press G ZZ to move like this. And I think I'm going to position it differently, like this for example. Add an empty. This is going to be our focus. Now here go to face project. I recommend that as soon as you don't need it anymore that you switch it to increment again. So press G and control. And as you can see, it's going to snap to the vertices. So I'm going to put it here. And now let's switch back here. Here you can enable depth of field. And select the camera. Enable depth of field and select the empty. Set the blades to 16. And now let's see what looks good. I think this looks good. 1.2. So that's it with the tutorial. I hope you liked it. Please let me know what I should do next and I'll see you next time.